So it's the end of the day and you realize that you only have milk enough for tomorrow morning and you are backed up meeting to meeting from place to place, PTAs, etc., etc. How in the world will you have time to go to the grocery store? My dear, you don't have to. As long as you have almonds stored away in your cupboard, you're good to go. Just grab one cup of almonds or two, put them in a bowl, put a little bit of water over top and let them sit overnight. And tomorrow, use this recipe. Hey there chicas, Daisy here from Pura Chica Natural, your digital resource for inspiration and motivation to move you toward a lighter, stronger, more natural lifestyle. To make almond milk is actually very, very simple. You need your almonds, purified water, and your sweetener of choice. Dates, raw honey, maple syrup, you name it. What you wanna do is grab your almonds, and we're going to measure one to two cups of almonds. You wanna put the water in here and let it sit overnight, two days max. I already went ahead and did that from yesterday night, so you can take a look at it. All you're going to wanna do is, once you're ready to roll, so give it one day overnight or two, like I mentioned, you wanna drain the water and then just rinse the almonds out with fresh water. So now we're good with that. Here I have two cups of almonds. Seeing as I have two cups here, I'm only going to do possibly just one. And we want two cups of water for one cup of almonds. For creamier consistency, you want a little bit less water, more almonds. By doing it this way, you're going to get the consistency of 2% milk. What I want to do is blend it and then I'm going to add my sweeteners. So I've been blending for about two minutes. So it's nice and thick, just kind of like a vanilla milkshake, super yummy. Now, for the sweetener, you can always add the sweetener right in this process, but what I prefer to do is just blend with the regular almonds, water, boom, that's it, because I'm going to be squeezing out the almond meal that I may want to use somewhere else. So if I have too sweet or not as sweet or etc., I may not be able to use it in the variety of things that I could use. So I'd rather just kind of strain it now and then once I have my milk, then I'll add my sweetener. So you can use a cheesecloth or a nut milk bag. Um, so one of these guys. And get your container. Let's see how this baby goes. So with this amount, you'll be making about maybe two glasses. See, it's not very much, but it is something. Homemade almond milk doesn't last very long. It can last a few days in the fridge, so make sure to make just enough for what you're going to consume. So that's why, I mean, this amount is perfect. You've got yourself two to four glasses. You see now this, you can make into muffins, you can put it in oatmeal, oh, so many different varieties. And because you didn't put the sweetener, it's just plain. So that's the almond meal. Plain, simple, nothing. So what I'm going to do is add some sweetener. Here I have some honey. Lay it in there. But afterwards I'm going to add some roasted carrot powder. There you have it. And there you have it. If you like the video, share it with your friends, comment below. Head on over to purachikanatural.com to peruse around. Be a part of the community on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash purachikanatural. I would love to hear from you. Catch you next time. Bye.
may not be able to see it, but you can kind of, maybe you can hear it. Therapeutic. Just kind of sitting here, minding your own business, paying attention to your almonds. I love it.